tangled up and slid to leeward and all balled up around my feet. <laughs> you bang and roll and pound the window, dripping wet and cold as hell. I can't estimate my speed of driftage, there ain't no way that I can tell. The wind dies out to leave me, and I bang and roll and pound and slap, and the fog comes in to drown me, and I don't know where I'm at. He is God's most chosen creature, lying helpless on the sea, at the mercy of the weather, and that don't appeal to me. A sailing boat is kind of useful when there ain't no other way, but like the old time horse and wagon, they're done, washed up by sail. I don't seem to take much pleasure in the howling, roaring gale, bracing every nerve and muscle clinging to a windward rail, grabbing halyard sheets and backstays till the skin comes off my thumbs, and hopping round from jib to staysail till the rigging valley hums. And the thing that makes me blaspheme until my morals are corrupt is leaning over sideways and that damn boat bottom up. <laughs> I can climb a gangway ladder if the damn thing's standing plumb or navigate them safely when they're leaning over some. And when they're lying horizontal, so that I don't possess. And it takes a sailboat lover to shin up those, I guess. <laughs> it's a sort of difficulty with a doorway lying down for a man to journey through it with his feet upon the ground. <laughs> the lamps are hung on pivots, and I always did a claim that the toilet on the sailboat should have been hung about the same. <laughs> I'd rather have a damn good dory and a pair of stout ass oars and thumb my nose at Father Neptune and proceed to row ashore. When I get to the harbor, whether it's calm or a howling gale, I won't have to spend two hours filling up those cussed sails. <laughs> no, sir, boys, you take your schooners and your catches and your sloops. I'd rather have a five-horse outboard on a floating chicken coop. <laughs> supper time and shuts down and thick all night and the whole down bay and ocean mist dim and white. It's foggy in my sitting room, it's foggy everywhere, it gathers on my eyebrows and soaks my beard and hair. If I leave my window open while I'm sleeping like a log, I wake up with a bunk mate, a great big gob of fog. <laughs> I rise to build the fire and put out the cat and dog, and I can't get any wood in until I shovel out the fog. I feel my way out to the barn, the air is full of frogs, and the cows are ten feet off the floor, they're standing on the floor. I set the pail beneath them in a milk a lively jog, then the milk runs out upon the floor so the pail is full of fog. <laughs> and after I've eaten my breakfast and my teeth begin to claw, and my oatmeal hangs suspended by a chew on the floor. <laughs> I start to go to Camden, and the course is in the log, and the boat jumps clear of water, sails off on the fog. Try to throw the anchor in some swampy, misty ball, and before it hits the surface, it hangs up in the fog. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, give me more of sunshine, or I'll sure be in the mog. I can't stand another season of this cussed, murky fog. 